What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so finally oneplus have started rolling out stable build of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 10 and 10 pro so in this video we'll go through all the main features which would be helpful for the users who are still on oxygen os 12.1 i know we have already made few videos on oxygen os 13 but there are some users who are still on oxygen os 12 and might not be aware about new features of oxygen os 13 so without wasting any more time let's get started so here you can see this is our oneplus 10 pro on which i've already installed the latest build of oxygen os 13 stable version and i was already running open beta but still i got the stable version of oxygen os 13 so here you can see these are all the changes what they have mentioned and the version is c.19 android version is android 13 which comes with 5th september 2022 security patch if you're already running beta version then you should receive an update size of approximate 900 mb so here you can see the size of the update was 953 mb which i received over beta version though if you guys haven't received the ot update i'll try to provide the full zips in the description below you can perform a local upgrade to perform a local upgrade you just have to go to about section tap here tap on these three dots and select local upgrade make sure to place the file inside internal storage before updating and if you guys don't see this local install option you just have to enable developer option and that can be enabled by going to version tapping on build number seven times once you have enabled developer option you'll be able to find the option of local install so this way you can install oxygen os 13 on your oneplus 10 or 10 pro and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now first let's talk about the benchmark results so as always we do benchmark testing and all these benchmark testing were done using high performance mode where you can see single core have scored 1242 and multiple core have scored 3290 with antutu benchmark application with high performance mode my oneplus 10 pro have scored 7,99,703 seems to be lower benchmark results compared to previous builds or you can consider oxygen os 12 and we also did a cpu throttling test let me show you the results so i did notice bit of throttling issues where you can see maximum cpu only throttled up to 79 percent and now talking about the change logs so as i have already shown you we have a huge list of change logs with oxygen os 13 so here you can see which are related to design efficiency seamless connection personalization security and privacy health and well-being performance optimization and gaming experience so we'll talk about some of the main features here one change which i noticed was related to the notification panel so whenever you swipe down the notification panel or quick setting panel you get this bouncy effect which wasn't present on the beta builds so now on oxygen os 13 they have improved animations a lot there are a lot of users who are not liking oxygen os after the update of android 12 but trust me guys once you start using oxygen os 13 you'll love the animation and the fluidity of this os now animations are super smooth and you won't find any kind of issues while scrolling around on your device now they have also added the widget of world clock so let me show you here i have already added the world clock so this is how it looks on your device once you add that widget though we have still not got the full support of all the applications for the wallpaper color so here you can see if i enable this feature though it's still in beta phase there are few applications which are not getting used to the wallpaper color and it's not only with the google application there are oneplus talk applications for example oneplus game space application and few more third party application and it looks quite weird when you apply this feature so i mostly don't use this feature on the home screen you do have the support of large icons or i mean to say large folders so if you have multiple applications in any folder you can enlarge that folder and can directly access all the applications without opening that folder also oneplus shelf have been redesigned though i don't use it but you can anytime enable that feature from the home screen settings swiping down from the center of the screen you'll get the pop-up to choose between notification drawer and oneplus shelf so if you are the one who uses oneplus shelf then you can check out the redesigned oneplus shelf you can add a lot of stuff like to do things and widgets talking about quick setting tiles now oneplus have also added this media player tile in the quick setting tiles from where you can control your music being played on your device and finally oneplus have fixed that media player text was written in chinese language on previous builds i mean to say beta builds but on stable build it has been fixed after that you have option to check out the active applications so just by single tap you can stop the applications which are running in the background we do have horizontal redesign tiles now in the quick setting panel by default these are set to bluetooth and wi-fi but you guys can change them anytime just by going to edit tiles 
and from here you can change these horizontal tiles and now oneplus have also added this search feature which means to say the global search so you can do search on internet and on your phone too but this is only present in the oneplus shelf it's not present in the app drawer also for the screenshot they have done few changes more markup tools have been added and also we have a feature called pixelate so i'll tell you how does this work and this is quite useful if you share conversation screenshot so for example here you can see i have a conversation screenshot and if you tap on edit and then go to pixelate there is an option called auto pixelate so this will automatically hide the profile picture and name in the chat so let me show you if i tap on auto here you can see the profile picture and the name is automatically pixelated in the entire conversation and later you can save this and send it to whomever you want we also have the support of side panel there are a lot of options you can find it here you can open the applications directly in the floating windows from here itself for example let's open a photos application and as you can see this photo application appears in floating windows then you can resize the floating windows as per your requirement there are two modes mini and standard and there was a feature guys on previous builds i think on beta build in which you were able to play the background music or the audio in the background from any video but i think that feature has been removed i don't get to see any option if i'm playing any video so i think that feature have been removed i'm not sure it might be possible i'm already a prime member because by default we do have the access to play audio in the background so if you are not a prime member then do let me know whether you get the option of background playing in the sidebar if you're playing any video and there's also one feature guys which i found out after installing this newer build so let me show you that screenshot i have taken a screenshot so for example if you're sharing any files from the gallery you will see a pop-up that protect your privacy by removing the sensitive information before sharing and if you tap on privacy protection this will show you two options before sharing wherein you can remove the location from the photos and you can also remove other things like your device detail which camera you have used apertures shutter speed and many more so quite a helpful feature when it comes to privacy and now let's go to settings and here under wallpaper and style we have already covered almost everything we do have the support of wallpaper color picking so depending on the wallpaper you can change the essence color of your device and are always on display there are few things added for example contextual info which can show you the information of your food deliveries bus schedules and navigation after that we have advanced version of canvas aod Omoji feature is added under system provided there is a new clock style which will show you how much one degree celsius will affect our planet so guys always try to plant few trees whenever you get time rest we have same stuff three colors for edge lightning same fingerprint animations and after that if you go to special features there is an option called kids space where you can create a dedicated home screen and give access to particular applications along with this kids space there is another feature let me show you that if i go to privacy there's a feature called system cloner so you can create two different systems if there are multiple users in your house and all of them use the same device so talking about the battery backup this will get to know after using the device for a day or two so i'll be coming up with in-depth review very soon i'll start using this device as my primary phone and very soon i'll be providing you guys the in-depth review of this newer build or you can say stable build of oxygen OS. when we talk about sounds so oneplus have optimized the dolby sounds effect with enhanced special audio field with more accurate sound sourcing and guys if you have good headsets you'll for sure feel a difference once you enable Dolby Atmos. And at last now let's talk about the gaming stuff. So as per the change logs OnePlus have mentioned they have upgraded the Hyperboost GPA 4.0 to stabilize the frame rate and balance the performance and the power consumption in key scenarios. So basically as you all know I do play Battlegrounds Mobile India though right now I'm not able to play this game because of the stitches in my hand. So in this game we still don't have the support of 90 FPS and I'm not sure whether the device will deliver stable 60 fps while gaming and that i'll be testing out in the review video and i'll update you guys how much stable frame rate we do get right now if you see we also don't have the support of hyper response in battlegrounds mobile india so I'll wait for my complete review i'll update you guys about the gaming performance and other stuff so guys this was a quick look on the stable build of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 10 and 10 pro if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day Thank you.